that safety had a very glitchy reaction here look at it like he doesn't know where he's supposed to be in coverage like he thinks he's supposed to cover like three different guys and he basically just gets frozen for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Chief, as always, got another explosive pass play for you guys out of my pistol offense. If you guys have been following this series, uh, this is probably my favorite playbook. I just don't use it very often because I don't think a lot of these plays are available in regular playbooks. So the people that play with custom playbooks and stuff like that probably are left out. But the play I'm going to show you guys today is available. It's actually in a couple of different playbooks. I'll probably have it popping up on the screen right now as I'm talking about it. Uh, but ultimately, this is one of the easiest one-play touchdowns against every single defense you will find in the game. I've already put out a couple of videos from the pistol as well. I'll have links in the description if you guys didn't catch that because every single one of them that i put out so far is one of the glitchiest Woo! setups or one of the glitchiest plays in the game. So hit the like button and let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see more videos from this playbook. Other than that, the formation is the trips left open. This is one of the reasons I stopped writing this playbook last year is because I really didn't have a lot of one play touchdowns for defenses but this particular play I'm going to show you guys today is a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game and it's super easy to set up. The play is the PA verticals on the defensive side. We're going to start off with cover two like we always do. So let's go ahead and start off with Tampa two. Now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your money team up and help support this channel at the same time all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below and you discount code money to get 3% off. It's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market. Now this is a very glitchy setup when it comes to the two routes that the Y route and the A route are running are probably two of the best routes when it comes to hitting one play touchdowns in the game. Uh, the A route's a deep cross. It's very hard to stop route. I'll show you guys how to run this against multiple defenses in a moment. And then the Y route there, the post route, is going to be the one play touchdown for the most part. Now, as far as a setup for this play against cover two, cover three, most defenses, all I'm going to do is put the B route here on a 10 yard out route. That's all I have to do. And you're going to see how, especially against cover two, uh, number one, the cover two safety on the right side of the field is typically going to react to the deep crosser. Uh, it'll also react the slants and stuff like that which really isn't helpful and you can see right here i mean he's way out of position and we get a very easy one play touchdown now if you watch that safety he looked like he didn't know what he was doing that safety had a very glitchy reaction here is he basically just gets caught in between three receivers and look at it like he doesn't know where he's supposed to be in coverage like he thinks he's supposed to cover like three different guys and he basically just gets frozen in uh, his indecision I think another thing that makes this play glitchy is what the running back's doing. A lot of times, check and releases have really weird reactions when it comes to safeties and cornerbacks. Um, so that's something that I think is actually a benefit to leave in the play. But you can see right here, I mean, this is a very easy one play touchdown. I am bullet and pass leading up, by the way, to split those safeties. There is a little bit of a timing thing here when it comes to that. Because if I if I wait a little too long, and I'll show you guys what that looks like here. If I wait too long, the safety can get back into the play. Although, you know, you can see here, I mean, that's also based off of the type of throw that I threw I basically floated it up there so it really is a bit of a timing thing but it's not very difficult to do it by any means like I said I always recommend practicing these things and you can see right here bullet pass lead up there's just nothing out here and we're cooking you know the entire defense and scoring from anywhere on the field cover two man will have the exact same effect so let's go and let's pick that the setup's going to be the exact same it's going to put the b route here on a 10 yard out route once again uh, that's what splits the safeties so you really can't go away from that you kind of need that to be there uh, you can you know instead of going for like a drag or something like that but ultimately you can see the y route gets right up the middle one more time the safeties are split because of that 10 yard out route we have a very easy one play touchdown against cover two man as well both of those cover twos react the exact same way we're gonna go we're gonna switch it up and go with cover three so let's go and let's pick cover three sky so as far as cover three goes all i have to do is put that b route on a 10 yard out route once again isn't it great i don't have to do much you know reading the defense or anything not a lot of adjustments uh, just basically pick this play and go and you're going to see how this Y right here once again gets past that cornerback. Now that was a horrible throw but you can see he was wide open. We'll go and do that one more time. Hopefully I can set my feet a little bit better or something. 
because ultimately all you have to do is wait for this wire route to cross and it's a very easy one play touchdown against cover three with the exact same setup. And this deep crosser here is really what helps pull down the coverage. You can see the cornerback is waiting for this deep crosser to come into the area uh, basically the same way he was in the cover two zone. That's really what makes this play so glitchy. In the meantime, he's getting sucked down to the point where he really can't get back in time to help with the actual play, which is going to be this deep crossing route for the one play touchdown. You don't really need that deep crosser though. You can put that deep crosser on a fade or a streak and you'll see how, you know, with the same setup, obviously, with that out route, you'll see how you'll have uh, the same success. You'll just have a little bit more separation from the safety now, although realistically, he got back into the area anyway. So there's really two ways to do that. Now, since we did cover three, we'll go and we'll match it with cover one. Go get with cover one hole, which is going to look very similar. Against cover one, the reason I showed you that alternate setup is because this is going to be the best setup when it comes to cover one. As far as the B route, I, don't, I can put him on a slant. I can make him a check down if I want to. It really doesn't matter. But the A route here is really what's going to be different. Putting him on a fade is going to be important. And the reason for that is simple because a lot of times this Y route here, because of the coverage, uh, of the streak coming through, it will kind of get in the way of the cornerback and basically uh, keep him clean so that the receiver can get an easy one by touchdown there. If you don't do that streak or that fade, a lot of times uh, the cornerback will be in front of the receiver, although here you can see we're having success. So realistically, this is another play where you can run in a multitude of ways and still have success. But I would say the full setup would be putting the A route on the fade, putting the B route on an out route. This would be the easiest way to, uh, to have success. You can see right there, the cornerbacks run into one another. So if the cornerback is getting out in front of your receiver, that will change that. And the reason that works is because uh, Madden's AI, I think kind of glitches out once these guys get so close to one another where he doesn't really know who his responsibility is for a few seconds. Cause you can see he covers 84, he follows 84 for a second and kind of treats, you know, 84 essentially sets a pick for this receiver to get open. So it can work if you have a good enough receiver, you don't have to do this setup, but you can see how if you don't have a good enough receiver, like, you know, Watkins is fast, but he's not really good at running routes or anything like that or creating separation on his own, you can see how this setup can do that. Next up, cover four. We did pretty much every single defense and the, pretty much the same setup worked every single time. We're gonna start off with cover four drop and then we'll work our way back to match. Now, this particular play is very specific when it comes to home running uh, cover four. You have to run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field. You have to put the A route on a fade, a B route on a drag, and last but not least, I mean, this looks like the, a very similar set to what we've been doing, but last but not least, we have to motion this Y route in. To do that, you have to put them, you have to motion them to the left. You can see here, he only moves in about a foot, but that foot is important. So, motioning him to the left. Now we have a one play touchdown against cover four. You'll see how he'll get past the safety and cornerback, and then you can bullet and pass lead away and he basically splits the cornerback and safety. This is a very unique setup when it comes to cover four. This play is very timing based too because if this receiver feels like he ran his route, he'll stop and come back to the ball right around here. Uh, so you really have to basically throw it, bullet pass lead once he gets parallel with the safety, bullet and pass lead to the right away from that safety. So I'll do that setup one more time. Like I said, this is very... Um, you know, it's a very uh, timing heavy play. So like I said, I'm gonna wait till he's parallel with that safety one more time. And that's when I'll make my throw right about here. Because if I don't throw it on time, like I said, he'll stop. If you do throw it on time though, it's an easy one play touchdown. And then last but not least, we have regular cover four. We'll go ahead and we'll go back to the regular nickel for that. Regular cover four by that, I mean is cover four quarters, cover four match. Same setup applies, just put your guy on a 10 yard out route one more time. And then we're right back to where we were where this Y route is just gonna cook uh, just about every single defense deep. As you can see right there, it's a very easy one play touchdown against cover for quarters. So I'm gonna end the video there. If you guys wanna see a full breakdown of this offense, I'll have it on my Join Now community tab on my Patreon at the moment. But if you wanna see it on YouTube, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man, my shit out. Need more help or just wanna show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.